Okay, figured out how to get that hat equipped here. Let's throw that on real quick. I'm sure it's going to be super stylish. So in order to activate different areas or deactivate different areas of your armor from showing, you would just click on the area of the body. So right there, click on the hat, and bam! Straw hatted golem. Oh, that's fashionable. I like it. Looking good. Okie doke, that should protect me from the sun, which of course we know is so necessary. Okie doke, let us, let's go do Necromancer's Doom, that's just right around the corner here. So let's head right up this way. It's like a bamboo lampshade, I love it. What can I say, I'm a party reanimated golem. <laughs> Let them on fire. Gotta love having a metal dog with dragon breath. Gotta love dragon breath in general. No doubt. They stood no chance. Except for this one chick I knew. She had some mean dragon breath. Yeah, that's not a good thing. <laughs> there we go. Let's head up around the corner here. Necromancer's Doom just right on top of the staircase. Oh, yep. Yeah, they're scattered throughout the wilderness area here. Okay, so here we go. Oh, this is actually the redemption quest. I thought this was Necromancer's Doom. Oh, Necromancer's Doom is down around the way. Okie doke. So this is this one. Kenneth Manufactory. Let's jump right in. Lars you Hayden. enter one of the laboratories where decades ago, House Caneth first imbued mystical life into automatons. Much later, these automatons became the Warforged. Okay, looks like this is where I was created. It said the golems were brought to life, so must have been where the Warforged were created. The doorway ahead has been you in boarded up. Oddly, and neat hats. the work looks very recent. <laughs> that door was no chance for my crossbow. You don't see that too often. You know, crossbows taking out doors. No, not really. <laughs> okay, let's see. Metal dog. I like how mine just chills there. Up. Oh. Hold on. I'm sensing something. Something's here. Oh, look at those blade I traps up there. Mysterious blade traps. Look at that. Yeah, I see the blade traps over here. Oh, hey, yeah. Pretty brutal. Oh, I'm feeling something else. My, uh, 
my uh, rogue sense is tingling. <laughs> and of course those prompts that are popping up are based off of my spot skill. And then I use search, which goes off my search skill, to uh, search the area to see what's there, discovering those secret compartments. Blades are still going. statues behind the grates there. Indeed. Haven't really taken any damage, but uh, it's good to know they're there if we need them. Definitely. Ooh. It's blocked. Oh, A magical pretty. barrier humming with compressed energy resolutely blocks your path. You hope you can find a way to disable it. Dog! It doesn't just block our path, it resolutely drops our blocks our path. There's a door back here. Oh, it's like a chest. Ooh, a chest. It's a locked door. I can unlock that, I think. I think that dog just spit and knocked me down. Yep, I unlocked it. They're using grease. This is where the balance really skill comes in really handy. Yeah, it takes a balance check off of your balance skill. Oh, I gotcha. If you pass, you stand up. If you don't, you'd fall down. Cool. Little secret chest in here almost. Ooh, a shocking touch short bow. Nice. Very nice. Elemental damage just does extra damage. It's always great. It's like our uh, fire weapons we're using. Oh, it looks like a uh, crystals. Well, these are like those power crystals we were protecting before. On the other side of this locked gate, you yeah. see a familiar sight: Canid power crystals, like what the one you saw in power. Hmm. But what are these ones powering? Looks like it's locked. This is a switch. Let's look back here. Oh, there's a switch back here by the rest shrines. Beautiful. Need to rest? I think we're okay. A little bit, maybe. Yeah. I can always heal you. Oh, I can't open the door. Of some alchemical compound coat these humming canid power crystals in a hard protective layer. You also notice several valves like of various some, uh, sizes turn all valves. spread around the room. Oh yeah, they're all over the place. Upon turning the valve, you hear a definite alteration in the pitch of the hiss as the gas struggles to flow around your obstruction. Sounds like it's working. Oh. Looks like they're slowing down. anymore. Oh, there's one right here. Yeah, one up high. Got that one. Looks like you got the high one on this side already, yeah. Oh, there's a low one right there. That's it. We haven't done that one. Without the alchemical jets coating the Canith power crystals, you can now easily destroy them. Nice. As 
the last crystal shatters, the hum of power slowly fades into a heavy silence. That was, oh look, you can see across, that was blocking the door. That was what was powering that barrier. Oh, yeah, yeah. Very cool. Let's go check it out. We could go rest, but I think I think we're okay. Nah, it looks like we're alright. Who in the flame are you? <laughs> That's great. What have you done? My protections are Who gone. Who in the flame are you? Oh, oh I no. see. The Sawagan found me. Suddenly the air shimmers oh, no. with devour a man. The Sawagan found me. The Sahagan have followed you in and are attacked. Uh -oh. the is light in your hands now. We gotta protect the guy. Attack anyone attacking him first. Stay alert. Sounds good. Our escape. Watch for more attacks. I assume there's more coming. Oh, here we go. Swamakin scum! Keep coming! I so won't far, so die good. that easily. Wow, <laughs> he's dramatic. <laughs> Something smells fishy here. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. <laughs> There's gotta be more. Here we go. There we go. Now you see what I have to deal with. Once the Swahagan get your scent, they won't stop until you're dead. That sounds promising. <laughs> Take more than that to put me down, Swahagi. Yes, we might actually get through this. Just hold for a little longer. Name guy. The Swahagan magic is gone. Hey, we got we it. We beat them off. This time. Hayden looks weary after surviving this latest attack. Perhaps you should talk to him again. Ooh, a chest. Oh, nice. He's apparently sick of fighting him, so we're offering to team up with the town and take this out once and for all. Huh. Cool. Go now. Tell Ursa to hold the barricade just a little longer. Then meet Amalgam at the base of Misery's Peak when you're ready. With Hayton finally persuaded to help, the people of Korthos might finally win their struggle. So that's actually a level. So we've actually gotten enough ranks to, uh, to fully level, as you can see by this filling up down here and the level icon here. So we will do that when we get back to town. <laughs> nice, nice little dance there, Fate. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, dope. So we can finish here. Might as well go out and uh, do Necromancer's Doom. It's down around the way here. A mangled sewer grate Sounds leads like to an old abandoned Kenneth manufactory. 